today we are going to be talking about variables. Now, first thing you should know about variables is that you need to learn that they always go together with the data type. Now, I'm going to type in the basic code that we always use. And we are writing a program. Now you don't need to type hello world program, I just typed it in to so that you can be able to remember yourself what we have learned in the last video. Now, if in the printf function you always use quotation marks to enter the text you want to be printed on the screen. Now what a variable is, it's a f it, we don't type variables or create them, we declare variables. It always goes together with a data type for example integer flow double and so on long short um, and then you use those data types depending on which number or which characters you want to use or which word of them do you want to give to your variable now your variable name is left to you to choose you can type any name you want I'm just gonna use variable and some variables are constant some variables are changeable if you give it a constant word for example if you type here const this variable is going to be unchangeable. If you leave it without const, it's going to be changeable. So you will be able to print it or to change the value of it. Now we're going to change the value of this variable to 1. We're going to write a printf function. This variable has a word of. Now, in printf function, you always need to use. If you want to print an integer, you're gonna need to use percentage d, because that's the integer sign. We're gonna be talking more about these signs. Just remember for now that percentage d is for integers because we're gonna in the beginning we're gonna work with integers just integers till you get it a little bit better until I explain it to you how it actually all works now after the quotation marks we type in variable close the brackets and let's run our code now as you can see the hello world is written just below the variable and this variable has a word of one is written here so the word of one because we we have given the word one to our variable if we want to put this line of code into another word uh, line when we debug it and run it um, we need to add slash and up inside of our quotation marks now if we run it you can see that hello world is written in the second line of our code now what constant variables do, we're gonna create a constant variable 
name it variable C now if we type in variable C and try to give it a word here of 2 let's say 2 and then try to print it again we're going to use quotation marks put the uh, integer board that's gonna be used to print our code constant variable has a word of percentage d for integer slash and for an extra row and let's type in variable c i forgot to close the quotation variable c now if you try to run this program you'll see that an error appears because this variable right here is unchangeable you cannot do that what you can do is give it a word right here let's say number two and now if you run this variable it's always going to be two no matter what happens if you try to change it you're going to get an error code now I want to talk to you about local and global variables. What we consider under global variables is any variable that's going to be written outside of any function. So it means below the include library command. Now if we type in int variable equals let's say 23 and we make a function main function which is going to be main called main and then we type in print f the variable is again the percentage d sign for integer slash n to go into the next row then we close the quotation marks type in variable and return zero now if you run our program you'll see that it is going to be listed that the variable is 23 now if we make another function down here let's say in function and let's say integer x equals variable return integer return x now if we run it there's n not going to be an error in our code now if we put this variable inside of the main function you will see that we are going to get an error in our code because the variable is local it is not global that's why we have to keep it outside of the function so it is also usable by the other functions